Hi guys, my name is Ferdy Korpshoek and in this video I will show you how you can add the taxes to your WooCommerce webshop. So if I go to WooCommerce, settings over here, click on the tab tax and let's take a look at the tax options. Prices entered with tax. Right now if you take a look at our shop, they are entered without tax. You could say I want to show the tax. Calculate tax based on shipping address or customer address or the shop base address. I use customer shipping address. The shipping tax class, you can say all my products are at a standard rate of 7% or something else. It can be a reduced rate or a zero rate or it depends on the product. So I have products that can be 21% of taxes and I have products that are 6% of taxes. Then I say shipping tax class based on card items. Additional tax classes, we have reduced rate, and zero rate and the standard rate. I leave it as this. I don't use it, so I could remove it, but I will leave it over here. Display prices in the shop, including taxes or excluding taxes. I would say excluding taxes, but then on the card and the checkout, it could be including taxes. Price display, you can change it. Right now it could say inclusive VAT. VAT, if you're in a different country, you could say B2B, we say that in Dutch. Display tax totals, itemized or a single total. So this is per product and this is a total. I leave it itemized. I save the changes and now let's add standard rates to our products. So insert a row and you can say from which country you are. So if I would say US, United States. You can have a state, per state you have different taxes. So let's go for California. If you leave this empty or the asterisk, then it means it will be including all the zip codes in California and all the cities. And the rate, let's say it's 10, so 10% taxes. The tax name can be taxes and it can have a priority. If you have more taxes for one product, then you can have priority. Which taxes need to be applied first and second, then you can do that. I will use only one, so I leave it as it is. Compound means that if you have two kinds of taxes, will the second taxes be applied to the amount that will appear after the first taxes? So for instance, there's 10% taxes for a $100 item. So it will be $110. And if you say compound and you have more taxes of 10%, that means that 10% will be applied to that $110. So we will have to pay $121. If you don't check this, then it will be $120. Maybe it's a little bit complicated. You can also take a look over here. Will the taxes be applied to shipping or not? You can find this all on the internet. I uncheck this and I save the changes. And if I take a look now, you see the prices are changed. This was $30, now it's 33 because of the 10%. So if I would change this to 20 and I save it, and this will be $36. So that's how it works. I bring this back to 10. But it can be that you also have reduced rates. So in the Netherlands, I pay 21% on all kinds of stuff. If I buy a new computer, I have to pay 21% extra. But if I buy a book, then I need to pay 6% extra. So I can go to reduced rates. Let's say it's in the United States. I can say US, California, and this rate is 5% taxes. I could say book taxes or something else. I just say taxes. Priority two, no compound and not for the shipping. I save it. So. We have the reduced rate and we have the standard rate. This one is 10, this one is five. If I refresh it, it's still the same. Why we need to assign the tax rate to every product. So hoodies is under the category stuff. I know this is not a real book with paper and stuff, but let's imagine it is. Then I can click on the book and I can add the tax rate, edit products. So this should be reduced rate. How can you do that? Scroll down. It is taxable and the tax class is reduced rate. So if I view the product, it is $15 with 5% extra 
it should be 1575. So I go to view the card. And right now it says $15.75. And if there for some reason should be no taxes applied to an item, then you can click on it, edit the product, scroll down, and select the class zero rate, update, view the product, and go to view card. And now it's still 15. So here is 10% applied. Here was 5% applied. And here is also 10%. And that's how it works. And then here you see the total amount is $119.50. And that is $9.50 of taxes. So that's how it works with taxes. I want to thank you for watching this video. If this was valuable to you in any way, please like this video and subscribe if you want to see more upcoming videos about internet marketing, making websites, using WordPress, using MailChimp or other stuff. My name is Freddy Korpsuk and I will see you in the next episode. Bye bye.